can we say that IDL is the is the biggest uh, uh, league competition, Darts League competition in London? In London, yes, definitely. One lucky subscriber will receive a free annual membership in 2019. Please welcome the head of IDL, Paul Butler. Hello. Nice to see you again, Paul. So what, what is the IDL exactly? Can the you... IDL is basically um, the solution to people telling me that they don't want to come out and play one leg team games and stay out all night and not have a pop game. So it started off me and my friends throwing at bedroom doors. When, when was this? Uh, about 10 years, nearly 10 years ago. Oh. And basically it's long format singles league where the unique part is that you can play whatever night you want and arrange your games yourself with your opponent. Which means if you work Mondays, you can't play a Monday league. You work Wednesdays, you can't play a Wednesday league. So it's, it take, brings everybody in, because whatever shifts they work or whatever other commitments they have, they can arrange their games themselves. And you can arrange it uh, on, on Facebook groups or yes, WhatsApp there's groups? A, there's a big Facebook group with around 500 members. 500? I create... Oh. Um, WhatsApp groups per division, so everyone can keep in touch. Okay, and what's the structure for the IDL? Um, it's split into divisions, so it caters for everybody, from your Premier Division, which is Super League County, and borderline professional players, down to Divisions 5, even Division 6 here, at uh, the biggest venue. Um, which would be complete beginners. And yeah, so it means that uh, you, do, you don't have, have to play on a professional level. Yeah, if, everyone will have a competitive level. Yeah, how, how do you, how do you uh, know that uh, who, is, who is good, who is not good? It, it's mainly guesswork, I'll be honest. Um, we invite new players down to sign up on finals yeah. nights and they can they can um, have a little game, meet a few people, so we can kind of get... Yeah, and you are watching uh, the averages, uh, yeah. how yeah, they I can throw. Someone, yeah. Obviously, I'm hosting the finals tonight and on the microphone, so I get someone else to do it for me. But uh, usually it's guesswork. Sometimes I get it wrong, put someone too low, put someone too high. But with it only being a three-month season, four seasons per year, ah. the, it, promotion and relegation quickly evens it out so they're in the right place. What venues in London uh, are um, hosting the IDL? We have here at Riley's Gloria, is the um, original venue, we're in season 27 here now. And also uh, the Spots and Stripes at Southwark, which is under railway arches between Southwark and London Bridge tube stations. Um, that's just had a refurb, all new boards, new area, really nice. We're going to have a lot of open competitions there. And Morden in Surrey, at the end of the Northern Line, yeah. is my other venue. Uh, Southwark and Morden are both in about season 15, 16, so they're about four years in. We've been to other venues before, but um, for reasons of the venues closing or having not enough players to ah, okay. substantiate it, that if we've come out of those for now. But we're open to new venues contacting us to, to get involved. Three, three or four boards would be a minimum. For, for a venue because obviously to have at least at least 20 players in it to keep it running and at least 32 to make it yeah, um, okay. viable so, to continue on. Yeah, and so this is a league format. Yes. Uh, are there any cup format as well? Yes, they're right. There is um, there's cup competitions attached to the league as part of it. And they're split into, so the top cup, the Lama Lion Cup, is for the Premier Division 1 and 2. Yeah. Then the Colin Butler Trophy is for 3 and 4. Sarah Stutley Bowl is for a five and six. And those cups run concurrently with the league. And then at the end, all the finals are on one finals night along with the trophy presentations for the league. Yeah, and it sounds very fair because you don't have to play in the first round with a, with a very strong player. That's it. That's it. And so also that's also open competitions. We have a separate competition for lower division players because if you're a Division 5 player, you come and you draw one from one or two divisions above, you've always got a chance. It makes it more competitive. Yeah, it sounds fair. So, and uh, who, who can join for the IDL? How, how is it working? How can you uh, enter? Can join. 
they, they can, um, the best way is to come to a finals night okay. and sign up on the finals night for the next season. Yes. But if they can't make that, they can contact me. We have a couple of, um, we have a couple of sponsors, um, Lama the Lion Photography, who's our photography partner, he comes and takes professional photos every finals night. And he's been doing some player profile photos last week as well. Um, we also have Cat Dromeda Accounting. She does my accounts. Yeah, yeah. She um, sponsors the cup at Southwark. We have um, our official dart supplier, which is Darts GB. The, the venues themselves as well, obviously, put money in for the competitions and and help the league run. Without the venues, we wouldn't have anywhere to play. How is it working, these open competitions? Uh, the the prize structures or... or Basically, the venues put in, put up a, a guaranteed first prize, usually £200. And then whatever we take in in entries, we pay out as well. Down to quarterfinals if we have over 32 players. When uh, will be the next season? All the, all the venues, the new season will start in the new year. Seasons are going to finish before Christmas. Mm -hmm. We're going to have a break, we're going to watch the World Championships and then we're going to start again in the first week of January. Can you tell us uh, some some uh, big players who, who started uh, oh, or who joined for the ideal? Big players, we've had a few, we've had a few. Of course, Diogo Portela. Diogo Portela, yeah. BBC Challenge Tour winner. You mentioned Dave Parletti. Dave Parletti, England yeah. International. Uh, Lakeside Seed has won, I think, four, maybe five BDO competitions this year. He's doing well. Yeah. His Lakeside debut, I know he's worked hard to get there. Yeah. So hopefully I'll be glad to support him there as well. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone else? I remember Scott McKenzie. Scott McKenzie uh, never actually played in the IDL. Oh. He came to play in a lot of competitions. Uh, Paul Lim with him to one oh. competition as well. Um, Steve West played a few of my competitions. George Killington. Who's he a had a nine darter nowadays, a, uh, a month ago yeah, against Yellow Klassen. He did, and he's, um, he's been a regular at competitions. Uh, Martin Lukeman, who was a Challenge Tour winner. Plenty of, plenty of very good players. We had three IDO players go on, and three IDO players all won. It's a level playing field, everybody's, everybody's allowed to do the same thing.